You guys, hello, happy Thursday. Welcome back to the channel. Very excited that you're here. Today, we're headed to the duplex. Two different things, some crazy spicy Korean chicken and then a burger, we'll get into it soon. And also, we've got our uh, new merch collection, the spring collection, just went live to our Patreon folks. Go and check it out uh, if you're a Patreon guy, number six with cheese, um, or patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Do it to it, son. Absolutely, as sunset happens, let's eat some food. Dinner time. guys two different things here in that bag from the duplex acquired jump cut all right we got two separate things here's Corey's Corey Wagner second angle all right here we go this is the uh, this is the Orion so we've got onion rings on here look at that dude that's yeah that uh, pork belly that ain't even bacon that's pork belly they got right there um, white American cheese uh, and garlic aioli and it's got a double patty here so Pork belly, onion rings, garlic aioli, cheese. Ooh, I mean, he's happy. That's, I'm a happy camper. All right, I got the Korean fried chicken with some crazy seasonings on it. Kind of thing is on there. Um, yeah, you can really see the chili peppers and stuff. Damn, that's just some dark chicken. <laughs> there we go. Let's feast. Two Korean girls at the duplex. That's the name of that. Space cow at the duplex. Oh, okay, I saw the two Korean girls on there. That's two Korean girls, and this that's is space cow. Pop-ups for days. All right, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man, oh yeah, this is pretty good. That burger looks great. Yeah, it's better than I expected. I thought it was a thick patty, it's two patties. Oh, it is, yeah. That's much better. Mmm. Dude, good spice on this. I love like a, a drumstick like this with this much seasoning on that mm -hmm. side. Bro, that looks amazing. Mm. Oh, oh baby, yeah. so good. Good? Mmm. This is great, I mean pork belly, garlic aioli. You're not gonna hear me complain. Never. Damn, this is really good. I'm surprised these didn't come with like a, a sauce or something. I know this is hot, but like that could really go for like a little dunk. What the hell's wrong with you, bro? It's Korean fried chicken. You don't dunk Korean fried chicken. <laughs> Surprised this didn't come with it. It's literally covered in nothing but sauce. Hey, man, how come this didn't come with a, a Ken's Ranch? <laughs> you know how many times we've had Korean fried chicken? I know not that much, but enough to know that it doesn't come with a effing dip. That's I just the got, most Midwest I got thing. I actually mad at you. <laughs> yeah. I'm over here jealous of those delicious looking cook, uh, Korean fried chicken wings. And, so you, funny. and you're getting upset about having dip of sauces. It was really funny because, like, when I said it, uh -huh. the silence you had, I was like, oh, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> I really want you to try one of these. Do you, are you good going from burger to a, for a drumstick? They're just, I know you're gonna love this. You love Korean fried chicken. I'll have one. I feel like you gotta- Can I have a whole one? one? Of course. Oh my gosh, they just look so good. Yeah, I wanna share in this moment with you. I love Korean. Isn't it so good? I could use a dipping sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is amazing. It's so good, I wanna try to show them just how mm. insanely, like look at this thing. This That's where this camera really works wonders. It's showing all the, mm. The flex on that. It's so crispy and so flavorful. They made a point on the menu to say this is the perfect skin to chicken ratio. Mm. Damn, dude, uh, what a good snag for this stuff. That menu had a lot of good stuff on it. All those burgers looked good. Um, I could have gone any of those, but I saw that Korean fried chicken. I think I would have kicked myself not getting it. This burger is really good, but I'll tell you this, it's not like, wherever that next tier is mm -hmm. in the city that we find, mm -hmm. it's not quite there. Okay. It's like the right below that, it's like great in the G League. Oh, okay. Like first play, they won the championship. Which, I mean, any Joe Schmo like me and you goes plays anybody in the G League, we're gonna get blown out. Oh my gosh, We even play college ball. No, no. I can't even watch college ball without getting crossed over. Yeah, and this might just be like, I'm obsessed with smash burgers and it's not a smash burger. Yeah. Well, I didn't even realize like that was two patties until you were holding it up. Yeah. It looks like a really good bun. Does that help or anything? <laughs> <laughs> the bun is great. <laughs> the flavors are starting to come in together as well as I would hope. Mm. That's pretty good though. I'm really impressed with that, that chicken. That's way better than that place we had a couple weeks ago. Modern Asian kitchen. But one of the things about the duplex is inside their vibe is unreal. Oh really? It's a really nice place in there. So I feel like that's the type of place it's gonna have 
above average food with, with an above average price. By I was going to say it's pretty expensive. Oh yeah, I think it comes up to like 40 bucks when it's all said and done for the two things. So. Yeah, I mean that that wouldn't be enough for a meal. Like you'd share those, I'm assuming. You'd get like everybody would get a couple of those or something. Yeah. You maybe then, share that with somebody and then get some sides. Cause yeah. You can't just sit there and eat four drumsticks and call it a meal. No. That's kind of that's not really a meal, you know. No, that wouldn't be the move. Great ambiance though in there. It looks really cool. I remember we pulled up the first time we tried going here. It looked all the lights lit it up and everything. It looked gorgeous in there. Uh, that's a spot that probably has a $22 old fashioned. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think so. I don't get enough Korean fried chicken. Like I, I have the few places I like and I don't veer very often. Yeah. So I'm really glad like because of number six with cheese, being able to go there opened up my world to that and it was really good. Those two Korean girls that are doing that Korean chicken, nice job. All right, well, super good. I was glad we had that. Um, guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do a comment here today. I'd love to talk to the folks. What about just burgers or fried chicken? What would you pick? Okay, that's tough. Not well, Korean fried chicken. Just just any any fried chicken. Like your favorite fried chicken versus your favorite burger. Wow, that's tough. I think I gotta go fried chicken, honestly. I think I would too. I also like chicken more than beef. So like I pretty much always pick chicken. Yeah, that's a tough one though. Um, but I would pick fried chicken. What would you guys pick? The wow. best burger or the best fried chicken? Um, and now it's time to rate it. You're doing the burger, I'm doing the cream fried chicken. Out of five, apartment buildings. I don't know, I see duplex and I just think housing. <laughs> Which, it's not even an apartment, it's a duplex. How many apartment buildings do you give the burger that you had here today, double patty, uh, how much was that, like $45, yeah, 20 they're, bucks? They're both 15 bucks. Okay, 15 bucks, <laughs> duplex, Corey. Uh, interesting that both our meals were the exact same price. It is really so, weird. So different. Um, I thought it was good, not great. It's a little high for the flavor. It's crazy. The, the price probably is appropriate because it comes with pork belly and yeah. a couple of onion rings and aioli, which I know is a little bit on the pricier side, or it feels like it. Is. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it, it feels like it's like that 15 bucks is about what you get, but I just. The flavor didn't really hit the way I expected it to. Yeah. My standards are hella high because of like, all Cheval bringing that pork belly's heaven and all there's just so many great burgers in this city. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, 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 I probably wouldn't come back for that just because there's other great options. It's still really great if you're here to have a drink and want to get a burger, it's a good one to get. But I'm gonna have to go at like, I'm gonna go at the 3.5. Still such a solid score. Such a it's solid score. It's just not one of the greats. It's just not one of the greats, which I feel bad saying, but. And they're right next to Big Kids, which has one of the which best burgers one of the in the greats. city. So it doesn't help that three doors down. It's probably like my top five burgers somewhere around there. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna rate the fried chicken now, the Korean fried chicken. Um, that was really good. I will say, they make a point of saying on the menu how much the skin is like. Okay, so secret seasonings, perfectly crispy and coated in our hot honey sauce. The drumstick is the perfect meat to skin ratio. Um, I, I will say this, and I'm glad you had a bite of it. I think the skin could have been like better. It could have been a more tender bite. It kind of felt like the skin was completely separate of the chicken. Okay. Like when a, when a fried chicken is really good, it's all one cohesive bite. I kind of bit and all the skin kind of ripped off. Mm. So um, it was really good. It just, it's not, it's way not as good as it's crisp. And, uh, but the flavor was fantastic. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with a 3.9. Look at that, wow. Still very, very tasty. But four bucks a drumstick, just about. Risky. Um, guys, thank you much. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching our Thursday video here today. Uh, I hope you guys sign up on Patreon so you can watch us hanging out at Corey's tomorrow for the brewing review. Those are really fun ones. Having a beer together after a long week of working. So uh, come on back. We'll see you very, very soon. If not, it's okay. You have no money. No big deal. We'll see you Monday, uh, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.